taking on the might of our quiz goliaths today are the septuagenarian celebrants. The team are friends and family who decided to challenge the eggheads during team member David's 70th birthday party celebrations. Let's meet them. Hi, I'm Mike. I'm 41 and I'm a computer programmer. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm 67 and I'm a retired bank manager. Hello, I'm David. I'm 71 and I'm a retired lecturer. Hi, I'm Barry. I'm 70 years old and I'm a retired accountant. Hi, I'm Mike. I'm 38 and I'm an accountant. Well, uh, welcome to you septuagenarian celebrants. That must have been quite a party then that uh, you decided to get the team together and play the air because it was your party then, David. My party, his idea. <laughs> <laughs> I see. And you are all, you're all linked, aren't you, by That's um, correct. family That's... and marriage, of course. That's well. right, exactly. Just, just talk me through it. You've got your, yes, your so dad with on you. On my left immediately is uh, Chris is my dad <laughs> and uh, David is my father-in-law and uh, Barry is a family friend and uh, Mike, his son. Right, OK, well, tight-knit team. Let's see you work together as a team to try and beat the Eddicheads today. So, uh, one brain missing from the final round. Celebrants, eggheads are all still there. Let's play our second head-to-head -to -head today. This one is film and television. Who'd like to play that? Film and television. television. Can't be Barry, I of think. course. Sorry? Mike? Yeah, or... I think it might be me. Yeah. I think I'll, I'll... Yeah, go yeah. with that. Yeah. Yes. OK, yeah. I'll play that. OK, Mike, Helmet. and which egghead? Uh, it can't... Any advice about Judith? Can't be Judith, CJ? yes. Judith OK, we'll be. play yeah. against Judith. <laughs> <laughs> Judith looking delighted there. Yeah. We like you. <laughs> OK, let's have uh, Mike and Judith into the question room, please. Mike, would you like to go first or second? I'll go first, please, Dermot. Good luck. Uh, the TV station Grampian Television was set up in 1961 to serve which part of the UK? Wales, Northern Ireland or Scotland? Um, well, the Grampian Mountains are uh, in Scotland, of course. So uh, it would be a bit surprising if it was Wales and Northern Ireland. So uh, I'd have to say Scotland. It's the right answer. Grampian TV uh, set up in 61. Well done. Judith Catherine Zeta-Jones won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress for her role in which 2002 film? Chicago, The Mask of Zorro or America's Sweethearts? Well, she was in The Mask of Zorro, wasn't she? But I don't know whether she was in Chicago as well. Um, I think... I'm going to say The Mask of Zorro. OK. Yes. Yeah, not sure about Chicago. Didn't really consider America's Sweethearts. I think the fact that uh, she won an Oscar for it might confirm she was in Chicago, in uh, which she played Eggheads? In Velma, wasn't it? Velma. Velma, yeah. yeah. OK. Well, uh, what a great start then, uh, Mike. Not only did you get yours right, but Judith got hers wrong. First questions. So, you're in the lead, and this will double it if you get it right. In which US TV series did the ballet dancer Mikhail Barashnikov play Alexander Petrovsky? Was it Ali McBeal, Lost or Sex and the City? I watched quite a bit of Ali McBeal, and I'm pretty sure he wasn't in that. Well, I couldn't say absolutely for sure, so I will rule that one out. Um, I know precious little about Lost and Sex and the City, I'm actually quite proud to say, but not helping me much today. Um, but uh, I would say for that guy, it's more likely to go for Sex and the City than Lost. So I'll say Sex and the City. Sex and the City, having never seen it. But you've got it, well done. <laughs> Correct, so two to you, meaning Judith, You've got to get this one right. Timothy Lumsden was the main character of which 1980s sitcom? That's my boy, Don't Wait Up or Sorry. Well, I haven't watched any of those. Not 1980. 1980s. 80s. Uh, I've never watched them. I've never heard of him. Um, have no idea. Um, Timothy Lumsden was the main character of which 1980s sitcom? I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. Um, don't Wait Up. OK, don't wait up. Mm. Maybe you better say sorry to the other eggheads. Sorry, such. eggheads. Yeah, it is sorry. <laughs> is it? It is sorry. And uh, Timothy Lumsden, played famously by... Ronnie, Ronnie Corbett. Corbett. Ronnie yeah. Corbett. And uh, that puts you out of the game, as I warned you. Uh, well played, Mike. Only had to answer two right. questions, both correct. You're sailing through to the final round. Would you both please come back and join your teams? So, Mike and Chris, you're playing to win the celebrants £24,000. 
CJ Daphne, Chris and Barry, you're playing for something which money can't buy. The Egghead's reputation. As usual, I'll ask each team three questions in turn. This time the questions are all general knowledge and you are allowed to confer. Celebrants, the question is, are your two brains better than the Egghead's four? And Mike and Chris, would you like to go first or second? I think first. Get we'll it go over. first. Get, get it over. We'll get first, yep. <laughs> Time for your first question, then. Uh, best of luck. Could be worth £24,000. Which is the lowest section of the human spinal column? Yeah, the cervical the vertebrae, the thoracic vertebrae, or the coccyx? Yeah, well, your cervical sort of vertebrae would be... Must be the neck, cervix. The thoracic must be thorax, so your middle part. So the coccyx is... Coccyx. Yes, indeed. Very painful if you bang it right at the bottom there, so that'll be our answer. Coccyx. The old tailbone. Uh, it's the right answer. Well done. So, Eggheads, what is the name of the Church of England's National Assembly, the General Convocation, the General Synod, or the General Council? That's the General Synod. General Synod is correct, Eggheads. Well done, one each. Back to you, celebrants. Which Canadian singer was born Eileen Regina Edwards on the 28th of August 1965? Shania Twain, Celine Dion, or Alanis Morissette? Do you know? I haven't got a clue. Well, the only one I could reliably have told you was Canadian is Celine Dion. Um, 1965, did you say? A 28th of August 1965. 28th of August you... 1965. Um, in terms of age, I think Celine Dion is the only one that fits, so yeah, be my, yeah. be my not particularly great guess, but I don't know what you think. I think you're right, you're saying, uh, I mean, I don't know the other two, but Celine Dion comes to me as a, as a Canadian. Yeah. Um, OK. So on that basis... Right, we'll, uh, we'll go for Celine Dion. OK, Celine Dion. Um, they're all Canadian, aren't they, on that oh, list? They all are, yeah. Yeah. They're, all, they're all Canadian. Um, it's not Celine Dion. I'm sorry, yes. it's not, but uh, Eggheads, do you know then? Shania yeah, Twain. Twain. It's Shania Twain. So, um, Eggheads, a chance for the lead. Plenty of questions to come. Eggheads, who played the role of Grasshopper in the 1970s TV series Kung Fu? David Carradine, Ryan O'Neill, or Kurt Russell? Well, Lee Chris did do the impersonation, but it was David Carradine. David Carradine, you think? Yes. All yeah. agree? Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's the right answer, yes, David Carradine, Grasshopper. Go on, you then. have much to learn, Grasshopper. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <That's> dreadful. <laughs> well, uh, celebrants, you have to get this one to keep the game alive. Halberd and glaive are types of what? Medieval weapon, typeface, or folk dance? Well, from my school uh, Types days, of what? Halberd was a, a weapon of some sort. Yeah, that was going to be... I think if it's a typeface, you'd have seen it in all those millions of different fonts oh, available indeed. on every word processor. Um, and as soon as you're saying it, I was thinking weapons. So yeah, I, I, we will shoot for uh, shoot. medieval <laughs> weapons. Yes, yes, medieval yeah. weapons, the halberd and the glaive. That's right. Well done. Kept you in it. But you've got to hope the eggheads don't get this. Eggheads, what aid to communication was developed in a school in Paris in the 18th century by the French educator Abbé Charles Michel de Lepe? Is it the typewriter keyboard, sign language, or semaphore? Sign language was developed in France. I think it was sign language. I don't think it was semaphore, because I think that was, yeah. was, was that cross. Sign, sign language was definitely, I think, developed in France in 1700, that. sounds right. It was a French priest of yeah. And if it's Define education. It. Couldn't be a typewriter, no. could be a typewriter, no. no. whatever, no. No. Certainly yeah. so so the right country was sign language. Yeah. Right. What do you think, Eggheads? After consultation, sign language. Sign language. Abbe Charles Michel de Lepe developed sign language. It's correct, Eggheads. You've won. Bad luck, celebrants. Really good gaming, and uh, I think you need, deserve another celebration after what you've done today. <laughs> a, a, a reprise okay. of yeah, that night maybe. at David's party. Thanks very much indeed Thank for playing you. Eggheads.